Hey guys, welcome back to the show. On the table with us right now, we have Hank. He is a tan and white schnauzer, guys. And, um, you know, he's in pretty rough shape today. Uh, he's got a lot of knots, a lot of knots in his beard here. Uh, a lot of knotting going on uh, over here by the elbow. Um, just a lot of, lot of knotting on his fringes here. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how we get this out. I'm going to be using the clipper a little bit here. And uh, kind of piecing out some of this knotting, you know, I, I want to, I, I want to make it as comfortable as possible for him. Uh, like I said, like I always mention to you guys, I don't like yanking on dogs. So um, let's say, for example, I am here, right, pulling this knot right here. What I would prefer to do is just do a little bit of a splicing. Okay, we splice that a little, right? Now. It makes it that much easier to get through right see that right there and it just uh you know it, it doesn't allow for a lot of tugging right so again we're gonna go through hank like that for his prep um one of the one of the more sensitive spots is you can see this right here right it's like right in his tuck up it's very knotted so what i'm gonna do here is just gonna splice down with my with my ten blade and clipper just to show you guys an example of it again so that we're not you know we're not yanking especially in this very sensitive area here and what I'm going to do too is I'm going to put my left hand behind there just kind of do little little support so I'm not pulling on his skin and, and I'm also protecting his skin so we're just going to go throughout him and uh, get all this knotting out I really don't believe in like real aggressive uh, grooming guys. You know, I, I've seen people, you know, take a take take a comb, right? Take your greyhound comb and try to just rip that knot right through. And that's just, that's terrible. Never do that guys, okay? So uh, we're, we're really focusing on the dog's comfort throughout the grooming. And by doing this, what's gonna happen is the dogs are gonna allow you to just groom them in the future. You know, if, you, if you're sitting there yanking on them and hurting them right off the bat, uh, you, you, know, you might get through that grooming, but they're gonna remember that and they're not gonna let you do it again and they're just gonna hate it. So again, I, I just like my little splicing method. Um, and even with that, you know, you, you can see he's pulling away. He doesn't like that either. <laughs> you know, dogs generally don't like grooming, guys. They just don't. We always mention they tolerate it. So we have to kind of find that, that balance of them tolerating it and also just making it really, really comfortable for them, right? This way, you know, we can train them to be better, better uh, on the table for future groomings. You know, I, uh, I went to the dentist recently and I, I felt, I, I thought, like, wow, this is what it feels like to be a dog. You know, I want it to be a good patient, you know. So, you know, part of it is like, you know, the dentist is cleaning your teeth and you're trying to stay still despite the discomfort, right? Same thing with the dogs. Like, they're your, they're your little patient, right? So we want to try our best to just make it comfortable. So, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through this. I'm going to not talk as much because I have to get Hank done. We're pretty busy today. So I'm just going to start prepping and uh, I'll tell you what I'm doing as I go along. I'm coming down his ears with the 10 blade, guys. Again, this is all the prep, so I'm not looking to make this come out good just yet, right? And I, I do Hank all the time. He's such a good dog. I do Hank uh, at least you know, once a month. Um, but the reason why, one of the reasons why he gets knotted is because he's um, he's got a lot of fringe and his and his hair is very thin, so it, it will tend to um, you know get knotted more quickly. Get his pads here. Good boy, Hank. I love you, buddy. That's okay. Let's 
some pad work. Get that in here. It's not nice, though. It's okay. It's okay. Now. Hank's not crazy about his front legs being touched. Yeah. Okay, buddy. I'm putting it down. I'm putting it down. Here, come over here. Just a little. There we go, Hanky Panky. Give me a bubble. I grab this, you know, right front from underneath. Good to just get it from underneath like that. This way it allows me to support his chest a little bit too. And I'm gonna go over these pads later anyway, so. Good boy. All right, buddy. Good boy. All right, I'm gonna switch weights here. Going to a different 10 here. So I always tell you guys the, the tens that I use for, um, you know, the um, sanitary clips, I kind of keep separate because I don't want to do like the butt and then work up on the face with, the, with that same ten. So I'm using a different ten. Uh, and I, I spray them down anyway just to make sure. Uh, you don't want any excrement getting on the blade or anything, and then, you know, transferring it to the, uh, you know, the butt. I mean, I'm sorry, to the face area. Sorry, I'm trying to stay focused here. Oh, boy, hey. Good boy, Hank. Good boy. Alrighty. Take that off. Switch back to our, our other 10 here. What's this one? Okay. Uh, this one. I'm going to do a little under the eye work here. And I'm just bouncing around a little bit, guys. Normally, um, you know, I just kind of be doing it a little bit more systematic. But, um, and for the purpose of filming the video, I'm bouncing around. Okay. Just gonna come right on top of his head. Straight back. You wanna be careful here with the ear flap, guys, so you don't, don't catch that corner. That's okay, Bubba. Just be real careful. Just go lightly. Don't dig too much over here because he's his ears aren't docked, which I really love about him. I think it's really cute that he has the floppy ears going. Um, it's that's, it's cute. This is all in the prep, like you mentioned too. And you groomers at home, you guys, I mean, if you have a schnauzer, you, know, you could just, you can do this. You, know, you guys can do this. It's not, it's not rocket science. It's just practice, right? Um, schnauzers are, they're usually really good for the grooming. One thing I notice about schnauzers, though, and a lot of terriers, and me and Anthony mentioned it all the time, they don't, they don't like being picked up. You know, they're not crazy about being picked up and maybe maybe that's just the terrier in them they tend to really like uh just being on the ground anytime you go to pick up a schnauzer or like a westie or a Karen terrier they, they just start flaring around they want to be on the ground they don't they don't like being carried too much at least that's that's our <laughs> uh experience maybe you guys have a different experience i don't know you know, don't don't yell at me, you, you you tear your owners. I know you're gonna yell at me, but it's just we find that with grooming anyway. When you go to pick them up, put them on the table, they tend to just want to wiggle out of your hands a lot. So all right, guys. So that's a little prep on the face so far. You know, we got out under his eyes, and uh, you know, I'm gonna grab my brush now, 
again and just do a little brush work on his face. Come here. And he's got a big knot right here. See this knot right there, guys? I hope you can, the GoPro's picking that up. But what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to grab it, right? I'm going to take that pen and I'm going to splice it. Stay, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. Good boy. See, I just spliced it out. And, you know, he hated even that. But look, now I can brush it out that much easier. Good boy, Hank. See, oh, Hank. You good boy. And I'm holding this side of his face with my left hand. I'm not yanking on him, guys. I'm just supporting it. You know, sometimes people will say things like, oh, you're grabbing his face. I'm not grabbing his face. I'm just kind of holding it. Look, this, this, this is the amount of pressure I'm putting on it. Like nothing, right? Just to hold him still. See this big mat right here? Look, we're going to splice that out too. It's okay, Hanky. Good boy, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I know, I know. It, it just... I want, I'm trying to help you though, but I don't want to yank on you. So now we're just holding this side of his face. Look, and see how much easier that brush is going through. And that one little knot would just cause so much tugging and yanking. Why do it, right? Avoid it, avoid it. Oh, look at you, Hank. We, we, oh, Hank. Isn't that the baby back there, buddy? Is that the baby? I, I love Hank. When Hank comes in in the morning, he is vocal, man. This this dog is just barking at the top of his lungs. It's really funny. But then as soon as like his owners drop him off, he just calms right down, and he doesn't uh, he doesn't bark anymore until they get here. He has I, I you know he's got a little separation anxiety, um, but once he's here, he's so good. A um, couple of groomers like. I think maybe denied him because he was just barking so loud or whatever. Like, maybe not giving him the chance to just, you know, calm down. Because uh, a lot of dogs will come in barking. And then, once the owners leave, they just settle right down. Look, I'm just doing a little more splicing here, guys. Right? A little more splicing. Look. There it is. Get it right out. Look. So, like, like I said, for the purpose of the video, I'm showing you, um, I'm showing you it in in pieces. Normally, I would do all the splicing, which is what I'm going to do now, and then I'll just do the whole brush out. Here, I'm just using the clipper sideways. Look, just splicing through. So I, I think the purpose of this video is just to show you guys how to do a quick, I, I'm not going to call this a D-mat because he's not matted, he's knotted. Um, so a, maybe a D-knot would be the right word. <laughs> um, And, you know, if there's a little couple of bare spots, like right here, well, well, so be it. You know what I mean? Then there's a bare spot. Because I would rather there just be a bare spot than sit there and yank it out. Because, again, like I said, you, you, you can scare dogs out of groomings. You can just scare them out of groomings. And if you're pulling on them and yanking on them constantly and doing like an aggressive groom on them, you know, you're just, you know, they're going to hate it. And they're going to hate it every time they come in. So why do that? They, like I said, they don't like it to begin with. They really don't. Dogs do not like grooming. They tolerate it. And, and that's, uh, that's it. So with, with that being said, like, don't, don't make them hate it. You know, if they tolerate it, don't make them hate it. It's the key to success. It's the key to, you know, getting uh, dogs used to it and training them. We, we often say, you know, there's there's specific type of training that we do to groom dogs, and it's not obedience training. It's training training them to, you know, be groomed. Um, and this is part of it. Part of it is just to. It's positive and getting them to uh, stay still and not hurt them. And if I, if I went through that with the comb, 
I'm using an eight and a half now. If I was trying to go through that with the comb, it just would have hurt him. I'm gonna sit here and hurt the dog for, you know, a good 20 minutes, a half an hour. No. So I gotta splice out those mats and then brush through. So now I'm just doing his pattern here. I'm just using an eight and a half. And now we could just rock and roll, you know? Because, um, brain is bogging a little bit. I'm gonna try a different blade. I'm gonna grab my 7F one here. Uh, that eight and a half isn't too good. I have to sharpen that thing. This one might whine a little bit, guys, only because it's a, a 7F and I, I do have to sharpen my blades. I got a video coming up where I'm sharpening multiple blades. So, it's okay, buddy. Good boy. It's okay. It's okay. Come here, Thank you. Yeah, I switched that to the 7F. It's, 7F is going to give you a little bit more of a smoother cut than that 8.5. Anyway, the 8.5 and and is going to take it a little shorter, um, but the 7F is just going to be a little bit smoother. So where we where we uh, you know took out that little mat right there, I'm not going to come down real hard there because I'm just going to expose what I shaved out before. So just kind of skim over it a little bit. And that's it. Alright. Again guys, this is just the prep, so I'm gonna show you the prep session and then we're going to um just uh get them in the tub and you know we'll show you the finish so sometimes i will do this with the scissors guys um notice like i'm just kind of holding the his ear flap um and sometimes i'll do it with a 40 blade really depends on the dog uh, but i can get an uh, i think i can get a little bit of a better finish on his ears with the blade so i'll use the blade a lot plus it's a little safer you know, the scissors, the scissors are tough. Anytime you do scissor work, guys, it always increases the chance of hurting or cutting the dog. Because, you know, if they move the wrong way, trust me, scissors are very unforgiving. Um, being really, really careful right now, I'm trying to be careful. Uh, this is part of a groomer's plight is just dealing with this. And yeah, we do it all the time, so we're pretty good at it. Uh, but like I said, oh, there's that little knot is still there in that face. All right, let me grab my brush again. See, like, you know, right there, right? What, am I going to sit there and yank on that? Even, see, I, I realize that knot is still there. This side is clear. No, we're going to go back to our brush. We're going to go back to our brush, and we're going to work it out slowly. We're not yanking on him, see? And he appreciates that. Look at Hank. He really appreciates that, right? Why yank it? I don't like any yanking. Sorry. Whatever. I mean, I, I'm sure there's some groomers out there that will disagree, but I, I just don't like any yanking. And what I do here, too, I have a curved shear, okay? So what I like to do sometimes when I'm doing eyebrows is I will flip it over, right? Like this is how you're supposed to hold it. I will flip it over, and I will do an eyebrow like this. Because, believe it or not, you can get a really nice angle on the eyebrows by flipping it over. Okay, so look. See that? You can get a really nice angle just by using it that way and flipping over the shear. Good boy, Yankee Panky. 
Look at you. Look at you, Hank. You're such a good boy. Look at you, Hank. You're coming along, buddy. Yeah, you're coming along. You're such a good dog. I love you, buddy. I love you, Hank. I love you. You're such a good boy, Hank. Hank. Yeah, look at, look at He's so cute. Like I said, I love the ears. You know, I love when, when you know, even on Dobermans. I love, you know, I love all of them. You know, they're, they're great when they're docked, too. They look really, really cool and everything. But, I don't know, they just, they look so cute when, <laughs> you know, they're on. Uh, and, you know, I don't know. I think it's adorable. But whatever. I, I love all dogs. All right. Okay, guys. So, that's it, man. He's all, he's all brushed out. Uh, let me just get a little in his chest here. And we're going to get him in the tub. And we're just going to work on him later and finish him up. Finish him up. And uh, that's it, guys. I mean, again, just nice and easy and gentle. And you are going to be so much more successful in your groomings when the dog knows he's not going to be hurt in any way. Okay, guys? All right, we're going to get Hank in the, in the tub and we'll show you some finished shots later. Hey guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Give it up for Hank for being such a trooper throughout that whole process. I hope this video made sense to you. I hope it helped you out and we'll see you in the next one.